ground has officially been broken for the Bob Hall Pier rebuild project. I'm Erin Holly, your Padre Island neighborhood news reporter. And Monday marked a significant milestone for Padre Island and for all of Nueces County. One, two, three. Yeah! We have worked so hard on this. It was difficult, but you know what? We never gave up. And there's no I in this. This was a we. Those are some words from Nueces County Commissioner Brent Chesney, the leader behind the long-awaited $28.5 million Bob Hall Pier rebuild project. I am just so excited. That's why we had to be out here this morning. Give him a round of applause. One of the things I love to do is come out and take sunrise pictures. And there was a spot on the old pier where they had a dolphin cut out in one of the posts. And I used to frame the sunrise through the dolphin. And it was just spectacular. And I'm looking forward to the day that I can do that again. And that's a day many have been looking forward to since Bob Hall Pier was destroyed by Hurricane Hannah in 2020. Also a day for us to show the resilience we have after a hurricane. It is beyond unbelievable. It's been a, it's been a journey. It's been a tough journey. And island neighbors are excited that the journey is finally coming full circle. This is a place that a lot of us locals have pretty much grown up around. I mean, when I was four years old and on, we used to come out here and fish until all hours of night. We're going to build this pier. We are going to build this pier. Commissioner Chesney tells me the project is still within the budget and on track to be complete in 2026. On Padre Island, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Aaron Holly, Chris 6 News.